Hello everyone and welcome to the Math Lab. My name is Jason Gregerson, I'm the director of the Math Lab. And the goal of this video is really to explain what the Math Lab is, and then also to show you exactly what you need to do to be successful this semester. So what is the lab? Well, it's an independent part of your Calcula course that's run out of its own Canvas course page, in which we're going to teach you how to use the mathematical software Mathematica. And we're going to help you use it to do complex visualizations, complex calculations, and really just give it to you as a tool you can explore your own mathematical questions with. All right, so how do we actually navigate the course and what do you need to do to be successful? Well, as I said, it has its own separate Canvas course page, so the first thing we're going to do is navigate to that. So here I'm at Michigan Tech's website. From here, I just go to Students, and I'd select the Canvas page here. After logging in with my credentials, I'll be brought to the Canvas dashboard, which will look like this. From here, I can select my lab course, the Calculus One Lab. I'll be brought to the main Calculus homepage, which should look like this. And in this page, we can really see what we need to do to get started. We'll first list the goals of the lab, and then we have a three-point uh, list here of things you need to do to get started. It says, first, read through the course syllabus. So you can follow that link and view the course syllabus. After that, we'll click on this link and we'll download the software Mathematica. So when you click on this link, you'll be brought to a IT downloads page where you'll log in with your Michigan Tech credentials and you'll scroll down to download the software Mathematica. There'll be some instructions for you to follow to do that download. You'll have to uh, click on an activation request uh, link which will generate an email and you'll fill that information out and you should be sent an activation key. So follow the instructions, download your personal copy of Mathematica. Now that's how you download Mathematica. Now we do have Mathematica installed on every computer around campus. However, I really encourage you that if you have a laptop, your own computer, they really take advantage of the ability to download it for yourself. All right, so now you have the software. How are we actually going to uh, complete the requirements of the course? Well, the course will essentially all be run out of these modules. On the module page, I can see a welcome module and module one. On any given week, you have to complete one to two modules depending on the semester. To complete a module, simply select the first element from the module. In this case, it will be the general instructions for the module, which may incl include some instructional content, but will always include a assignment notebook template. If I download this notebook, it will look something like this. Right? It will be a template where I can enter my work from the module. Once I've read through the instruction page, I'll hit Next. I'll get my first instructional slide of Mathematica content. I'll watch a video or read a document to learn the content I'm supposed to learn. I'll then hit Next and answer some questions about that content. Here I'm working on question one. I will enter this work into my assignment template, into question one. Once I'm done with that question, I'll hit Next. I'll get some more instructional content. I'll hit Next. I'll answer another question in my assignment template. I'll hit Next more instructional content, so on and so forth as I navigate through the module. Each of these instructional slides should be relatively small content focused on one idea and then a quick follow-up assignment. When I get to the end, I will have a module quiz. For the module quiz, I'm going to use my second attempt on this because each quiz has two attempts. I'll see that question one through question five are the same questions that I did as I was working through the module. So when I get to the quiz, I can use my assignment template to enter answers directly into the Canvas quiz. After that, I have a few more questions, not from the module, but in the Canvas quiz, and I should work out those solutions once again in my assignment template under question six and question seven. After I'm all done with all the questions from the quiz, I'll simply submit the quiz and then I'll be able to view my results and move on to the last piece of the module, which is an assignment where I'll upload my work from the module. So from here, I will go to submit my assignment and I will upload a PDF of the work I've done in the module. So I will take my assignment notebook and I will simply go to file, save as, save all my work as a PDF, and then upload the PDF to this assignment. You'll get credit for the answers you entered into Canvas, and you also get some credit for the work you upload here as a PDF. And that will complete this module one. Once again, each week, you'll have one to two modules to complete. So now that we've seen how to complete our weekly assignments using modules, let's go back to that main calculus homepage. 
the last thing I want to stress in this video is how to get help when you need it. If you're stuck on a module, if you have questions about Mathematica, we want to make sure that we're there to help you support your learning. So normally, if the Michigan Tech campus is open during our staffed hours, you can visit the Math Lab room in Fisher 331. Now regardless of the campus being open or not, we will also offer online support via Zoom. So during our regularly staffed hours, you can always click on this link right here to open a Zoom conference where during staffed hours, we'll have two consultants waiting to answer questions. This is really a great resource. You can pop into the Zoom room, you can share your screen, show us your notebook, and we can help you walk through any problems you're having. To see the staffed hours, it should be at the bottom of the Canvas page, whether it will be listed there or a link to depending on the semester. If you have more administrative questions or grading questions, you can always also contact the lab course coordinator whose email will be provided on your course page. And if you're still not satisfied or have a follow-up question, you can always contact the math lab director with the email that's provided. So what we've seen in this video is how to get started downloading Mathematica, how you complete your weekly assignments by navigating through the course modules, and how you can get help and support during the semester by getting online support through the Zoom link during staffed hours. That concludes this video. Thanks for your time.